Well, well, well. This right is this train's never late, is it? I mean, and, and, and what was it just like a couple weeks ago where I pulled that article from Fox News and I showed you where they said, uh, was it two big pharma companies out of state? Two big out of state pharma companies flooded some, I can't remember which, some other state. I want to say it's West Virginia, but I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Anyway, flooded some small town out of state of 2,900 people, 2,900 people with 20 million pain pills. And even Congress is all worked up about it. They said, we're going to get to the bottom of how this was allowed to happen. I said, that's bullshit. That's an act of war, if you ask me. And then out of all the things to talk about, because I said, then this brings me to another point. I think this is bullshit because every time when you have these mass shooters, every single time when these mass shootings take place, the shooter is always on some sort of medication. But you never hear the mainstream media attack Big Pharma or go, at, go after Big Pharma. They go every single time, right out the gate, go right after the guns. And here we are, mere days later, and that exact scenario plays out. And I can't remember which is either what was it a friend of the family or the, or or the family itself documented reported saying that yeah he was on some sort of medication. But is the mainstream media going after that? No, no, they're not. No, this is what they're doing. It's time to go to the guns. We got to go out. We got to go after them guns, everybody. That's the trouble. That's the cause. That's the problem. Huh? And I tell you something else is funny too. So there's a silly stat going around that uh, the paychecks, everyone's paycheck, is being affected by an increase. The last number I saw reported that made the news headlines was $131, that your paycheck went up $131. And remember what we said? We talked about that too, didn't we? Because this is all a scam. Right? You said, oh, tax plan. Oh, budget. Two things that just added $1.3 trillion to the debt. So that means inflation. That's exactly what that means because that's more money that has to be issued, more debt that has to be allocated. That is, by definition, inflation. So the CPI number comes out yesterday. CPI surges 0.5% in January, triggers fresh worries about rising inflation. So that extra 100 some bucks and change don't mean shit because you're going to be paying more for everything because the debt just went up. And here's the funny, here's the best part, here's the kicker. You know what also causes inflation? Rising interest rates. You know what the Fed has to do because they said they would, I don't know, like three or four times? Raise interest rates this year. So guess what's going to happen? More inflation coming with that. that. That's why this is so funny. And if they don't, if they do not raise in inflation rates, then that means they're lying about the economy being great because we wouldn't be at record low emergency inflation, or excuse me, interest rate levels if everything was great. So this is a real funny, and see, and that's why you don't even have to get into that shit about the shooters and all this stuff. I mean, it's right here. Just the economy itself should be making people scratch their heads and go, this is not, this doesn't make any sense. This doesn't make any sense. A little fired up. Can you hear that? A little fired up today. Silly, man. Silly. Unbelievable. Well, you know, I, I just, nah, I'm not going to do it. Thanks to my subscribers. All right, I'd like to add an update to this video because I saw that I made the first part before I saw the MSNBC clip that I uploaded a little earlier. So if you haven't seen it, I'll put it below. You got a reporter herself saying that there was a drill taking place right before the shooting happened. This Nicholas, Nicholas kid, uh, Cruz kid supposedly opened fire. Herself, out of her own mouth, says it's a pretty strange coincidence because there was a drill going on, an active shooter drill going on right before this all took place. And it's not a coincidence because that's what happens every time, whether it be the Boston bombing or 9-11. The list goes on and on. Always a drill taking place. So whenever I made the first part of that video, I hadn't seen that part from MSNBC yet. And I was going to, because I was going to add a TV clip after the first part you just watched, but I decided not to, uh, not to use it after all. So anyway, and on top of that, it's now being reported that he heard demon voices. So that's another way of them telling you that you do not struggle with just man here. It's not just flesh and blood. It's the powers and principalities. 
Other, another way of saying it is that you, you're, you're fighting a war with stuff you can't see. So quick little sum up of both videos now. Uh, just like we said, here's another call for inflation coming because that's what happens when you raise interest rates. And just like the drills, and just like most of the time they talk about being told, like voices told them to do it or whatever, another similarity, another common denominator is that these shooters are on medication. Because someone close in this guy's family or a member or, or a friend or whatever said that he was on some sort of medication. And just like every single time, Another coincidence, another common denominator, the news focuses on taking away guns rather than they do investigating the medication. So can you smell the bullshit? Can you smell the scam? It's all right there. Thanks to my subscribers.